We're, we're not. Him. We're not trading for Deshaun Watson. There's uh, there's so many reasons why we wouldn't do that. I mean, cap wise, we couldn't afford it. But more importantly, uh, with the allegations that that are out there right now, that's just not the right fit for us. Yeah, I, I didn't bring it up. I didn't. I didn't go down that road on the interview. But yeah, I mean, one where we are salary cap wise, and then the pending legal issues. You know, being. I, I don't know how you could go down that road right now. No, I want. I want Joe and the uh, new head coach to make that evaluation. We do feel that Daniel can play. Um, you know, we've done everything possible to, to, to screw this kid up uh, since he's been here. We keep changing coaches, keep changing offensive coordinators, keep changing offensive line coaches. You know, I take a lot of responsibility for that. But let's bring in the right group of coaches now and, and give him some continuity and try to rebuild the offensive line and then be able to make a, an intelligent uh, uh, evaluation of, of whether he can be the franchise quarterback or not. I have a lot of hope uh, in, in Daniel. I know how badly he wants it. I know how the players feel about him. So uh, we are certainly not giving up on him uh, by any stretch of the imagination. John, that's a good question. We're, we're going to talk about that when the head coach gets in here and the offensive staff. So we're going we're gonna to evaluate him as a group. You know, I haven't talked to training staff, strength staff, you know, a lot of the sports staff on, on the players yet. So we're going to get together as a group. Once we get more information, you know, we'll make that, you know, we have till May. So we'll take our time on that one.